in response to my last video about some of the things that I did to my CZ, CZ 457 that uh, really improved the accuracy, I had a lot of people ask the question on how to measure headspace on a CZ 457. So I'm gonna go through that. Um, I'm not gonna take the whole gun apart, unfortunately, but I'm gonna try to explain it a little better to help you out. So first and foremost, what is the headspace? That is your, the distance between your rear and rearmost and foremost stopping point of the cartridge. So the rimmed cartridge, like a 22, is basically your rim thickness. So you measure the rim thickness, and on this fed, or this CCI standard velocity target, my rim thickness, let's see, where is it? My rim thickness is 42. It's hard to get a measurement on this one. 42. So that's what I'm, I'm gonna shoot for that for correcting my headspace using the shims, but how you measure that is you're gonna pull it out of the stock. Um, and the, once again, the reason I'm not doing this is because I have this sighted in, dialed in and everything, and I really don't wanna go through that whole process again. So take the stock out. There's gonna be two screws that are holding in your barrel. Take those two screws out, barrel will pop out. You're gonna use your calipers to measure the barrel shank. So the barrel shank is going to be basically, for if it was a threaded barrel, it would be that threaded section. Uh, it's a turn down section. I like using a depth mic, it's a lot more accurate for this, but you can use calipers. Um, you can use the back end of your calipers to get that measurement. So stick that on the shoulder of the barrel, or on the face of the barrel, and run this down to touch your shoulder, get that measurement. And then you're going to put the barrel off the gun, Gonna close the bolt. This works best if you have the bolt completely disassembled just because then you don't have any spring pressure affecting it. And then you're going to measure from the front of the receiver face right here to the face of the bolt. And you can do that the same way using the back of your calipers to measure that down. Um, I, once again, a depth mic is much better, but if you have calipers, that's what you can use. And on this bolt face there's two steps there's this bigger step or this uh outside step and then the inside the cartridge sits along against the inside one so you're going to want to measure to that point so from the face of the receiver to that bolt face and that is how you get your headspace so take this distance and subtract the barrel shank distance from that and that will give you your actual headspace subtract the two you have Say, oh, well, for example, say I got 47 thousandths difference there, and this is 42 thousandths, I would add a 5 thousandths shim to the bolt. Um, or I would take 5 thousandths off the shoulder of the barrel. Those are two ways that you can do that, accomplish the same thing. Um, once again, I really enjoyed using the shims. It's a pretty simple process. I guess I am a gunsmith and I could take this in and put it in the lathe, but. I honestly was just curious to see how the shims would work and if they were as good as they were talked to be, talked up to be. So, uh, so far I believe that they are, but yeah, I hope that helps. If there's anything else, any other questions on that, let me know, but yeah, I'm sorry. I really just didn't want to take this apart again, but thanks.